hot starting out with Waylo recipes. I've got myself some pumpkin spice mix here and I've got a recipe on the box for pumpkin and chocolate mountain cookies. I've never had pumpkin and chocolate mountain cookies before, but I'm gonna try it out in the New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven Air Fryer. We're gonna see how it bakes these cookies up right now. Okay, so here's our pumpkin spice quick bread mix and the pumpkin and chocolate mountain cookies recipe, which is on the side of the box, calls for these ingredients. It's one packet of their uh, pumpkin spice quick bread mix, a quarter cup of either milk or water, I'm using unsweetened vanilla almond milk, three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, a half a cup of chocolate chips, I'm using sugar-free chocolate chips, and here I've got a mixture of uh, two large eggs and a half a cup of butter. And so basically these all get mixed together in the bowl here. And after that we'll use their uh, pecan pack. They give you a pack of pecans with each pack of mix. So basically I've mixed up the butter and the eggs. I'm just going to get everything mixed into this bowl now. While I continue mixing, I'm going to start preheating the New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven. So I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to hit the menu till I get to bake, which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The cooking time is supposed to be about 16 to 18 minutes. So I'm hitting the time temp and I'm going down to 18 minutes and going to go ahead and press it in there so it's going to start preheating and I'll finish uh, mixing this together. Now I'm going to go ahead and spray the pans with cooking spray. I'm going to try and do two levels and I'm going to use the pan that comes with the New Wave Bravo and also use this other black round baking pan. If you have like a New Wave Brio or a New Wave Oven Pro, you're probably familiar with this type of pan. Alright, so the cookie dough is now mixed and it's kind of thick and you're supposed to take an eighth of a cup to make each cookie so and give them some space. So I'm just going to try and scoop them out and dab them onto my baking pans and this is supposed to make like 18 cookies total so we'll see how many I get out of this all right now you're supposed to sprinkle some of the pecan packets onto the cookie dough I'm just going to put some in my hand and just sprinkle a little over top of each. Alright, the New Wave Bravo is finished preheating, so I'm going to open up and start putting things in. I'm going to put the round pan up top, see how that fares up top. I'm going to put the rectangular one down bottom, like one high, one low. And close up and hit start. Let this batch run and I'll bring you back. Alright, we're coming to the end of 18 minutes for two layers of cookies. And we'll see how these turned out. I'm going to turn it off just to stop that excess beeping. Looks like they spread out quite a bit. I'm just turn the light on here. And while I get these out, you can see that you know they spread out quite a bit. I'm going to try and get them off and just lay them into this pan here. Let them cool off some in there. 
I'm going to have to use these pans again for the second batch. Set that up there, get this other rack out. I'm going to take this pan out and I'm going to set it on this rack here just for easier. These are just sitting down out there. And get these off. They're still kind of gooey, but I think they're going to turn out pretty good in the end when they you know, start to harden up a little bit, just a little bit. Okie doke, I'm going to basically spray these pans again. These cookies I'll have to get out the way to uh, make some room to work on this next batch. So just going to spray my pans again. Alright, now I'm going to start scooping out my cookie dough and before I start scooping out again, Gonna turn the New Wave Bravo back on, put it back to bake. Gonna hit that time temp, knock that back down to 18 minutes again. And going to start that again on its preheat. Alright, I got exactly 18 cookies out of this and I'm going to put my nuts on top and my New Wave Bravo's done preheating. So I'm going to just stick them in like I did the last batch. Got some extra pecans, so I'm just throwing some more on on top there, just to use the remainder. All right, gotta start getting these cookies in now. Get this out the way. Get my first batch in the bottom here. Big pan. Get my smaller round pan in there. All right, we're all in. Sorry about that loud slam there, but 18 more minutes, I'll bring you back. All right, the last seconds of this second batch, we've got our first batch sitting out here. It's just been chilling and hanging out. Now we're gonna get in here and get these right now. Turn things off, turn that light on. And here you have the top rack. I'll just take this top rack off and plate these. We'll do the taste test with these. Just set this up here. I'm going to take this bottom rack out. Have a look at these. Those look pretty nice. I'm just going to set this uh, rack here and I'm just going to put this pan on this rack to cool. Let those set there. Alright, so you know, had to do two batches but was able to knock out all these cookies. So they look pretty nice and going to just maybe give them just a moment to cool down these on the plate here but when I bring you back I'll be showing you these for some taste testing alright it's time to taste test some cookies so here's one 
can see the bottom it's nice and soft still warm okay tastes very nice tastes very nice these pumpkin spice cookies with the chocolate chips pecans turned out very well so you know if you want to use the new way bravo for baking whatever you want to bake pumpkin spice or whatever it turns out nice so i hope that you like this you can find uh, other recipes and heating instructions for the new way bravo other toaster ovens air fryers convection ovens at superwaveovenrecipes.com you can always get to this YouTube channel by going to WaveOvenRecipes.com. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at WaveOvenRecipes. And you can find in the video description referral links for this and other cookers if you want to buy them through Amazon and help this channel and you pay the same price. Also, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, and good eating.